So Yarrabah is the largest Aboriginal community in Australia. We have around 3,500 people on our health records with a Yarrabah address. When I look at it from a health angle and I, when we look at what's happening with um, rheumatic heart here in, in Australia and particularly here in Yarrabah, we have over 350 people with rheumatic heart issues here in Yarrabah. Rheumatic heart disease stems from acute rheumatic fever, which is an infection that starts with a really common germ, group A strep. It does stem from sore throats and skin sores. It can lead to damage so severe that the child needs open heart surgery. We know that skin sores are common in Yarrabah um, for various reasons. If we can actually prevent the infection from occurring at the beginning, so prevent the skin sores, then we can actually prevent acute rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease. One way to prevent skin sores is by promoting skin hygiene. It's about making sure that we have um, good sanitising soaps. It's not about telling us, you know, we need to be clean or this is how you need to do stuff. It's about what are the other things that we can be doing that impacts on rheumatic heart. So the preventative stuff. The preventative stuff is like Hamugu coming in and saying, well, we've got this special soap that we can start to dispense to the mob in Yarrabah to deal with school sores. It was really quite disturbing actually uh, to find out that in Australia of all places people in remote communities were having trouble accessing basic essentials like soap. Uh, to be honest it was shocking not only to me but the entire management team and, and we wanted to do something about it. It was an easy decision for us um, to jump on board and look for a solution. So Mugu have very generously donated um, a year's worth of um, body wash for every household in Yarrabah. Uh, this is going to be part of um, Yarrabah's and RHD eradication plans. The Mugu body wash um, is really good for sensitive skin and it's also really effective for cleaning the skin if you've already got skin sores. So it's a good way to prevent skin sores but also prevent them from getting worse. Because it's odourless, it won't irritate the skin, so it's good for skin sores, which will also um, help with addressing rheumatic heart. It's consistent infection uh, that's often not dealt with quickly enough. Our environment is, is really harsh. Our water's not always the best, and hygiene is, it can be difficult in uh, overcrowded homes. So in our program in these communities, we're providing each household with a bottle of our milk wash so they can use that to wash their hands, their body or their face. Uh, and that milk wash bottle can be refilled from their local community centre or their local school. It's been madness having a deadly heart track here, but it's phenomenal to see the engagement from the students, the community, the parents uh, learning about this. We're hoping that through this program we see a reduction in rheumatic heart disease cases in these communities and that that can be used or those statistics can be used to help uh, put a more permanent solution in place for these communities. I think this is awesome that Mugu has come on board with this in regards to the um, soap dispenser and, and, having, and having this in the household. The Mugu body wash is absolutely safe to um, put on skin sores if they're already present. I guess the benefit of the Mugu one is that it is really good for sensitive skin as well, so it won't cause skin to dry out. Very safe um, if you've already got skin sores. If we can educate the community and the kids to maybe lower those statistics, maybe one day we can stamp it out altogether. We are very excited about the potential of helping change lives and potentially change the trajectory of a children's life in these communities.